Uh, we've been with WLKY's Lexi Sheen all morning long. She's been holding down the fort on the backside and continues to uh, this Friday afternoon. Of course, uh, more, you know, it starts out as a couple dozen and it's a hundreds. And maybe now, Lexi, are you with uh, thousands of your best friends out there? It is a big crowd out there and building. Yeah, it really is, Matt. We're basically shoulder to shoulder with everyone, and people got here super early to get prime real estate. And it's all because of this awesome view that's behind me. And back here, it's a really relaxed atmosphere. People are grilling out. They brought takeout. They are just settling in for the whole day. And you're seeing all kinds of outfits: a lot of pretty hats, a lot of dresses, and then also some jeans and cowboy boots. But earlier today, we saw a woman who was wearing the biggest hat that I've ever seen in person. In fact, she had to get here early this morning because her hat was actually getting her national. Media Media attention. I told her that I wanted like maybe a Parisian look this year, something different. This is the sixth one she's done, so I wanted something different. So I said I have a hot pink dress that I'm going to wear, and so she came up with this. Up early for national media appearances to show off her milliner's work, Patty Ethington says it's a lot easier to balance a giant hat on the backside versus the front side of Churchill Downs. The media presence combined with the sea of fans makes the backside electric today. Fans get here before dawn to find the best seat in the house, lugging in coolers, grills, tables, and chairs, all to settle in for a long day of racing. For many, this is a long standing tradition. That means the do's and don'ts of the Oak Stay experience. Have made themselves very clear over the years. You make sure that you have enough water to cover any other beverage that you're going to have with it. Uh, plenty of suntan lotion, usually a blanket, and then uh, flip flops, right? We went from heels to flip flops. And also some fried chicken. That goes nicely uh, with Oaks Day, doesn't it? Not me eating the fried chicken, but it smells amazing, guys. They obviously brought enough supplies to make it through the entire day out here. All 12 races, they are well underway, of course. And many of these people will be coming back tomorrow and doing the exact same thing. They are very prepared after many years spent on the backside of Churchill Downs Derby Week. Matt, I'll send it back to you.